Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. And today, I've got an interesting video for you. I've got another offering from Sofern. Today, we're going to be talking about a scuba diving flashlight. This is Sofern model SD05. I'm very excited to show this to you. sent me model MS1 before this was a diving light if you haven't seen this video please check the description box down below I'll put a link to this video where I did this flashlight this diving light this thing was awesome runs on a single 18650 battery but today's light runs on a single 21700 battery or an 18650 and it's a lot brighter and it only costs two dollars more than this one. It's even smaller too. So the first thing we see when we open the package is the thank you card from Sofern. I thought that was a nice little touch. Then the next thing we see is the owner's manual and we'll refer back to this here in a minute. In fact we're gonna get to this page right there with all the specs of the light. The next thing I see in the package is a USB charging cable. This is USB 2 right here and this is a micro USB and what this cable's for is it plugs into the battery charger which is included with this kit. And let me move that white thing out of the way. I'll get to that in a minute. This is the battery charger. This charger will charge a wide variety of batteries. So you basically plug this in just like that and then this can be plugged into your wall outlet your vehicle your battery bank your solar panel your laptop computer a lot of things and then you can charge your batteries this little indicator will turn red when it's charging and green when it's finished I'm a big fan of these little chargers a lot of people think they're cheap and they are but they work and they work good they'll charge 26650s, 18650s, uh, 16340s, 14500s, and 10440s, plus the 21700. They'll charge all a wide variety of batteries. Next thing you see in the package is this little, this little kit here. There's a couple things in here. You can see there's two spare O-rings, and there's a lanyard for this light. And then we have this little white piece of plastic, this little tube. That is the adapter that allows us to use the 18650 batteries. There's nothing left in the package, so I'm going to move that back. And here is the first look at the SD05. I like this light. I've already taken it out. I've already played with it. And it's awesome. The magnetic ring here. You, it is so cool the way this thing works. It has heat dissipation up here on the head of the flashlight. The glass is very thick. You can see it has a beautiful reflector. Okay, so it has a little bit of a very mild eggshell slash orange pill design. And if you look really close at the LED, you'll notice that it's actually four LEDs in one. That's crazy. That LED is a Cree. XHP 50.2 and this LED puts out 2550 lumens of output so that's just a beautiful light you can see it has three settings low medium and high and that's all it does it doesn't do strobe it doesn't do SOS it just gets right to the point low medium and high and that's it model SD05 the machining on this is very nice right there is where you would connect your lanyard the little hole there and this is flat so you can set that light on something flat and it'll stand on end so I think Sofern just did a phenomenal job the price point that they're aiming for on this flashlight currently at the time of me shooting this video is around thirty dollars 
and this one was $27.99 so this one's $29.99 so only a couple bucks more and you get so much more there's a look at the end cap spring and then on the battery here you can see that the insulation card needs to be taken off and they put those on these batteries when they ship these lights so that they don't accidentally get turned on and create heat or arrive at your doorstep with a drained battery now look inside that battery tube in fact I'm gonna have to get this guy going let me see let's get right there and we'll use that light see inside there nice little spring now if you notice the walls of this tube are very thick and there's two o-rings right here protecting this IPX8 rating so this IPX8 rating goes down to 100 meters that's a significant depth so here's a look at the battery this is a 4000 milliamp hour it's a standard 21700 battery this is a high discharge lithium ion rechargeable battery very nice there's the negative side right there and there is the flat top positive side so what you would do is you would insert the positive into the flashlight and then you would put the tail cap on and as you thread the tail cap on it smashes those two o-rings and again that's how you establish that IPX8 rating down to 100 meters that's over 300 feet okay now to operate the light it's extremely simple you have three settings now let me refer back to the owner's manual here for these settings you have low of 300 lumens this will last for 8 hours and 16 minutes with 84 meters of throw then you have medium of 900 lumens that will last for two and a half hours and the throw is 145 meters then you can go up to high which is 2550 lumens for an hour and 38 minutes with 244 meters of throw this also has an impact resistant uh, rating of 3.8 feet or excuse me 3.28 feet so one meter of impact resistance and the IPX8 again that's completely underwater diving down to a hundred meters so that is just crazy this light has a very nice pattern and it's simple to operate you have this magnetic ring here and all you do is just turn it right there now we're on low and then you see the indicator points to the, the setting that you're on if you want more brightness you turn it until you get to medium very simple and then if you want to go to high you just turn it to high it doesn't go to the right anymore that's as far as it goes so the ring will only go to those four positions off low medium or high if I try to turn the ring to the left it doesn't it doesn't go it'll only go to the right just like that there's low there's medium and then there's high you see the beam pattern is really nice too you got a very nice hot spot in the middle but a, but a real wide flood so if you want to look at something in the water I think this would be some really good light and then once you get to the to the right you can go back to the left all the way to the off position so it's an extremely easy to use flashlight the, the head does get warm uh, and I'm not real concerned about that though because it's a diving light it's intended to be used underwater if you look at the size difference let me get this other one turned off here this other one has a lot of modes and gets a little bit confusing sometimes as to what mode you're on this new one is so much brighter it's so much smaller and it's extremely simple to operate if you're you don't even have to know what setting you know you don't even have to see the letters because all you do is turn clockwise to turn it up and counterclockwise to turn it off so you don't even have to see on any of that if you're holding it like this it's just clockwise and the farther you go clockwise the brighter it gets until it stops and then to the left is counterclockwise and eventually it'll turn off it's extremely easy this one did a good job I think it was a thousand lumens but it was it, it the ring would go all the way around 
and then it was kind of difficult to know what setting you were getting on the light did work really good and uh, I don't have no complaints there it's a great flashlight but I really like this one I think this is better by a long shot now let's take a look and see what the flashlight looks like and how simple it is to install an 18650 battery so this is the battery uh, that comes with this dive light this S, excuse me, in, stop this battery that I'm holding by Sofern 2800 milliamp hours this is the battery that comes with model MS1 and obviously you can see that this one is 4000 milliamp hours so you get a longer run time out of this newer battery and again it's only two dollars more so what you would do is you would put the battery in this little sleeve here and you insert the sleeve and the battery into the flashlight and then you put the tail cap on it's extremely easy and the brightness is going to be the same but the run times are going to change so there's low medium and high so you get the same brightness levels just different run times it's a super super fantastic flashlight can't say enough good things about it I've taken it out and I've used it quite a bit and I'm very 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 happy with it we're going to turn this thing on to low this is a 300 lumen setting it'll last for 8 hours and 16 minutes and the distance of throw on this setting is 84 meters it's got a good flood to it very clean nice little hot spot in the middle but not too hot this is a good setting let me bump it up to medium Whoops. let's go to medium now on this setting we have 900 lumens the run time is 2 hours and 30 minutes and the distance of throw on this setting is 145 meters you can definitely see what's going on this is a good setting let's bump it up to high now on this setting we have 2550 lumens for an hour and 38 minutes and this has a throw of 244 meters so this is a significant amount of light very good setting you can see that the flood is really wide it's it just lights up everything this is a nice light so that's high let's go back to medium and back down to low very simple light the magnetic dial does a fine job of going between the modes very easy high medium low and off I like this Sofern model SD05 it's a good light very easy to operate it's light it's small they did a good job with this one So folks, I want to say thank you for joining me today on this video of this Sofern Model SD05 dive light. I want to say thank you to Sofern for sending this out for review. I really like this light. The simplicity of it is awesome. It, it doesn't get any easier than that. Low, medium, and high. Medium, low, off. It's, it's just the simplicity of it when you're underwater and you're down so far and you're trying to look around and things like that you need something like this that's simple the longer run times is very nice again I want to say thank you to Sofern for sending this out for review I want to say thank you to you guys for stopping in and watching this video I hope you got some good useful information out of this video please feel free to make sure to check the description box down below Leave comments down below if you wish. And as always, thank you for stopping by. I hope you have a beautiful day. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.